today we are turning my streaming studio from this to this. I think the first step is to maybe tidy up and empty out this place because it's a bloody mess. So now that I've got everything all sort of tidied up in the office, I want to get everything off the wall so I can fill in any holes and sand it down if I need to, which I do. And then we can get moving all of this stuff off of the desk so we can put up our new Stansit desk. waiting for the holes to dry on the wall, so I think we should tackle this problem. So the old desk is now down, and we're going to build the new desk, which is going to go up and down. And up, and, and down, it's a stancid death. Booty going up, down. The camera ran out of memory, but the desk is complete, and it works. Incredible. So inside of this box right here, we have some cable management trays. And if you don't know what they are, it is these things right here, which use these clamps right here to clamp onto the desk and it holds all your cables underneath. Now I did have cable management trays before, which were these ones, but I didn't quite like these ones. I feel like it's quite restricted and it couldn't clamp onto anything. So I had to Velcro them, which after a while just came loose. So I'm hoping with these ones being able to clamp onto the desk, they shouldn't be moving anytime soon. And these are a little bit bigger and a, a little bit more room to breathe. But before we get around to install these, I need to install the monitors, the stands, the computer, the laptop, and everything else in their places. Then I can sort out the wiring and then I can hide it all with these. So let's get on with that. And before you ask, yes, I do have two monitor stands because I've got three monitors and monitor stands are expensive, man. So recycle and reuse old monitor stands. That's my tip. Okay, so I just did a whole segment of me putting the monitors on and making the cable trays. And then my camera died halfway through and it lost the footage. So wonderful. But I did get the monitors on and I have also made the cable trays for the desk. Also, the cable trays came with a wire management kit. So we've got everything like the Velcro strips. We've got little rubber bits and we have got the wire hider. Don't worry, this stuff up here will be getting moved when everything is ready and I've got a natural place to put it. But for now, I want to show you how easy these are to install. It is as easy as clipping onto desk and tightening up these knobs. So it is an organized mess underneath here, but it is my organized mess and I don't know what's going on. Like I tried to make a little bit more room in the actual shelf by putting the big blocks underneath here, here and here while having the big extension lead on top and easily accessible. Might not look like it, but all you have to do is lift it up and it comes straight over. I can unplug anything I want at any time. I tried to make it as neat as possible by having this wonderful wire hider all of these wires here all go into this one neat bit all the way down until here and the wires spread out there because it goes to the sub which is sitting right there i'll go into more detail with these lights but these are the GoV led lights they are wrapped all around the desk and they come underneath as you can see right here my only issue is this the plan was to hide these inside of a diffuser strip against the wall to have a nice background but then i got a stand sit desk 
which means they're gonna move around and get ripped anywhere. So someone please help me, what do I do with this strip? So this is where I'm currently at right this second. I've just finished all of the wires. I do have my laptop, which is running this whole setup, believe it or not. We won't talk about this bad boy. He is good, but that little graphics card there, that's only a 1070 Ti. This could run the 40 series if it wanted to. He's a beast PC. I just don't have the, the power of the graphics card for it. But if you did know me before, I was a video editor and it was so much easier having a laptop so I could carry it around. And excuse the mess, we've got so much more to do, but I love it. Also, can we just appreciate how good the cable management is? Because that is exactly what I wanted. Yes, you can see the cables just behind here, but it's a laptop. It comes in and out, so I need the cables to be loose enough to be able to get it in and be able to move it around. But damn, look at this. Now that the desk and behind the desk is now sort of complete, I want to get on with the backdrop of the streams. And as you can already see, I've already got the paperboard bracket up for where I want that to go. This right here. So I want this bad boy exactly where it is. So I'm going to screw it in with these little screws. And as easy as four screws, you've got a sick paperboard, mate. Bloody cool. So we've got the pegboard all sorted out now and the way I want it to look, I think it looks wicked. And for you people that have realized already, the light strip that I didn't know what to do, I've just put it around the pegboard for now. Yes, they are still hanging down, but I think it looks good. It gives it a little bit of ambiance. So this is where the camera's gonna be when I'm streaming. Wow. And to be honest, I quite like this in the background of the stream, but we've still got this wall to do. So I need to get that done ASAP. But I've run into a bit of a problem. As you can see at both sides of my head, I've already put some picture frame nails in the wall for this bad boy here. This absolutely wonderful little kitty holding a samurai sword. If you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of cats and I love cats and cats are cool. But this issue I was talking about, I'll show you right now. You can see the LEDs in it, which may not seem like a bad thing, but it's gonna annoy me and you're gonna see this a lot on stream. So what do I do? I think it looks good behind me. I'm gonna put another one there as well, but do I change it or do I move the LEDs? I don't know what to do. I like that. We've got the other one up. Boom, boom. I love Marvel if you didn't already know. So Spider-Man is obviously my favorite. As you can tell from the limited edition fun code that I've got from the 90 series and i don't need to talk about that but i've also just got for christmas the captain america shield to go with these and these are going to go in this corner right here just to fill in the gap a little bit so the idea with these is to have a little bit staggered on the wall and i think i've got my idea of how i want to do it So the very last thing that is going on the bloody wall is these Govi rope lights, which I absolutely love. They're very expensive. There is other options out there, but I definitely recommend them. These lights are awesome. They connect up with the lights behind the pegboard and the desk and the lights behind the monitors because they're all Govi and they're all bloody connecty cool stuff. I very much enjoy these lights as they give a wicked effect and they're just smooth when they run. Smooth up the railer. So I've had a few ideas what I want to do with these absolutely lovely lights. I think I want to go for just a bit of a wavy, fun pattern in the middle of these two posters. I'm going to get these up ASAP so I can show you the result of the background and everything else. So the good thing with these rope lights, they come with these little bits here, which have sticky pads on the back, but because I've already used them, you can also use the hole, which is in the inside, to put a screw through. And just like that, looks unreal. I just hope it looks good on stream now. It also comes with an absolute madness catalog of different settings, different scenes and different colors for you to choose from and god damn do they all look pretty pretty good and you can literally control them all just from your phone pretty bloody cool So one thing I absolutely love about this desk, it shows you in this little screen right here, 
how high or low it is so you know exactly what height your desk is at all times so you can always change it if you need to. Another great thing that I found out is there's this little M button right here and that is your different modes. So you can set the desk at all different modes. Like right now, if I click one, it will go down to my sitting position. And if I click number two, it will go to my standard position. And it is literally just as easy as moving the desk down to where you want, 108, clicking the M and pressing three. So when I click number one, it will go down to my sitting height. But if I click number three, it will go back to the height which I set it on, which is this one. Pretty cool. Now quickly, before I talk about the lighting in my setup, I want to quickly talk about this mic right here. This mic right here is the HyperX Quadcast S, and I absolutely love this mic so bloody much. Currently, right now, you are listening to it, and it has a couple of filters on it to make it sound so crisp. And trust me, for £120, I think this mic was, is so worth it for a starter streamer, starter YouTuber, or someone that wants to start a podcast, or just have good audio while gaming. Now for the lighting. I know this video is called the ultimate gaming streaming setup video, but I will be honest, the lighting is not up to the scratch I want it to be, but I don't think it's too bad for what it is. You see, I really want the Elgato key lights right here, but they're like £160 for one light. It's a little bit out of my budget right right now so for right now i have three lights on me at all times this ring light is from the company newer and it's absolutely brilliant i think it only cost me around 70 pounds a couple years ago i also have a ring light from home bargains which cost me like nine pounds which is on top of my camera giving me a nice little glow from the front i also have this little led box light which is absolutely brilliant it only cost me like 25 pound on amazon and it connects straight up to my camera so when i'm out filming doing promo videos weddings this comes with me everywhere and it just gives you that nice little light that you might not have and i'll put that up to the side to give me light in all different angles for the other accessories that i have on my desk the keyboard is the corsair k55 rgb it is very very cheap for what it is i've had it since like 2018 definitely due an upgrade but it works and it does me well the mouse is the standard logitech g502 you can't go wrong with this mouse i love it to bits i actually have Two. I definitely want to go for the wireless option just to free up a little bit more space on the desk, but the wired one is unreal. Still works perfectly after five years of owning the mouse. I also have the Mark 1 Stream Deck. Unreal. Can't go wrong. Absolutely brilliant. I know there's new ones out there, but for a starting off streamer, the Stream Deck is unreal. There's so many different things you can do with the Stream Deck. From starting your stream, changing your scenes, sound effects, changing music, the list goes on. It is such a good item to add to your streaming setup, so definitely worth having a look at. I also have a Belkin MagSafe wireless charger. And for speakers, I got the Logitech Z333 2.1 multimedia speakers. And they also come with a sub thick bank. And just like that, our setup is complete. Now we are fully done with this setup. So let me know if you think there's anything else I should approve on in this place. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more setup videos and tech videos, because I've really enjoyed this one. But if you want to see more of this setup, make sure you go follow my Twitch. It is Craig Fraser JR. We are so, so close to 200 followers. And it would really mean a lot if you guys from this video went over to my Twitch and dropped a follow to get me to 200. We are grinding and we're putting in the work, so make sure you go check it out. And make sure you drop a sub on this channel as well. We're trying to get to a thousand before the end of the year. If you've made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.